Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're gonna do an Eden run after getting that slightly, you know, re redemption Isaac run recently. We'll do an Eden run. We got Sharp Plug combined with our uh, ye old uh, deck of cards here. We got Sick Kyle. Slukas. Sounds like a, a Croatian actor. Let's take our pill. Alright, that's a good one. And we get a sun card to back it up, so I'll tell you what, why don't we crank on this bad boy one more time, and then use it, we get a high priestess, and then we got the sun card to kind of like back ourselves up here. We start with a bomb. So my thinking is, maybe use the sun card on like this room for example, kill these guys, and then that gives us a bomb with which to find the secret room. Now we're gonna have to be very cautious about doing this, long term in the future, but short term, we might be able to get away with some seriously good stuff here. Uh, theoretically speaking, of course. Like, I don't know if I necessarily want to pop a uh, sharp plug again. We'll see, though. Uh, this could be good as well if we end up fighting the haunt, kill the little haunts, and then we got this high priestess card to back us up. What I'm looking for right now is like red hearts to drop on the ground to basically give ourselves free cards. And if we get free cards, that could add up to a lot, you know, especially if we get like Ace of Spades as a trinket, so it allows us to get bicycle cards more often. We could do some really, really dangerous, like dangerous for the game stuff here. All right, so let's ignore that, and let's not make the mistake that we made on an earlier run. We will stay away from the temptation of that spirit heart. And good lord, we have a lot of money that has come out of this, and also a crawl space or a black market. It is a crawl space for a free piggy bank, which is actually all right. Piggy bank is one of those items that I'm like, eh, it's all right, but I never really want to pay for it. Oh, I actually managed to jump over it in a very roundabout way. I'm I'm not surprised that I got hit, but for a minute there, I thought I was actually going to make it out. On the bright side, we got a decent amount of money here, so, you know, all things considered, I think this went relatively well. It's way longer and more involved than you'd expect the first floor to be, but... It's got interesting implications to it that I'm a fan of right now. So we're going to bomb our way into our shop because we are currently without key. We could buy a key or we could buy the map. We're probably a little better off buying the map. You may disagree. All right. Well, now that that, you know, bucket of syrup is over with, we've improved ourselves pretty nicely already here. We can trade a bomb for a key uh, fairly easily right here. I blew it so hard. Um, I'll tell you what, well, if we get more red hearts, we can come back for that. I would like to. I would like to. It was a poor play. I'd like to use sharp plug more often, too. Usually we have a surplus of red hearts. That hasn't quite happened yet, largely because I've been taking incredibly stupid damage by doing incredibly stupid things, but we'll see how that works itself out. We can also try the bomb for a key gambit again. Didn't work out too uh, amazingly for us on the first pass, but you never know. Second time's a charm. Someone's probably said that somewhere in the past. Someone's smarter than myself. Just be careful here. Ooh, that was particularly bad. <laughs> I really should have been hit there. I got lucky. All right. We got a Joker card. We got to use that on the first floor. There's just no question about that one. So here's how we do this. We fight our first boss as the Haunt. Use our bomb probably to kill the two mini haunts. Start, uh, you know, just by tackling this the easy way. Then we reverse them, put a bomb down right there, stick them good, then High Priestess. Fairly solid. Get a range upgrade, which I'm not particularly excited about. Why was I so anal about making sure that we um, didn't use the Joker card right away? Because depending on what's in that deal with the devil, I should very much like to have um, a little bit of extra protection in the form of a spirit heart. We did use our bomb, so we can't do that bomb for a key swap, but I think that's okay. And we'll pick this up, and we can't do anything else, so let's try it. And we get... We can take two of these? They're so good. But I think we gotta go... Well, we don't have to, but I think I'm going to... Actually, we can take all three. What, what am I high on right now. We might as well take all three. This is a fantastic start for us here. So we got Death's Touch, the Mark, 
okay amount of HP. Could be better, obviously. But uh, Dark Bomb as well. I don't know why I was thinking I couldn't take Dark Bomb. Pretty great deal with the Devil, and we can even get him to capitalize on that right there. Now, we kind of lack the ability to use Sharp Plug anymore, but we also kind of got the value out of deck of cards that we would ever need to. Like, the most value we'd ever need to, so... I'm feeling pretty pretty great about our current situation. There's another Tinted Rock right away. Small Rock. Damage is probably the least of our concerns right now, but we have it. Come on, guys. I'm hoping that, yeah, we blow that guy up. That gives us a nice little window with which to shoot the rest of the enemies on the screen. Extra key for the shop if we decide that that's valuable. Bob's Brain, an extremely... Stupid and dangerous choice to make right now that I'm gonna do just to spice things up a little and, and I think it's a good item. It's not an item that we need in our current uh, situation, but it's an it's a good item nonetheless. Now we're not using the D6, so I'm not gonna be too anal about making sure that I maximize our use of the you know of the uh, battery charges appropriately or anything like that. We got a temperance card that we can't really benefit from, but maybe we'll get HP upgrade from our boss and then we'll be a little bit more uh, flippant about just trading HP away. We'll see though, we might get nothing and then have another awesome deal with the devil. We might actually lose HP over the course of the rest of this floor, but lose it in a fashion that is actually like conducive to our own improvement. That's really bad right there. We're, we're in a tight spot. Hoping maybe to get like another penny, but not easily. Real problem here is Bob's brain. Don't let it trip you up. There we go, that's good. Be looking for like nine lives for three spirit hearts. Raw HP upgrade is nothing to sneeze at either. Let's see what we got inside of our room here. Mom's knife and the pact. Uh, I mean, mom's knife is lovely, but I think we have to go for the pact this time for the extra survivability. It, I mean, the extra damage is nothing to sneeze at as well, but uh, I would have probably been fine with it either way. I'll tell you what, let's throw this temperance card down here. I'm going to try something a little snaky. Didn't work at all, but we got our key back. And with these keys, we will uh, go to our shop. And then if we shoot this, there, there's no uh, there's no spirit heart in here anyway. But I'll buy another key just to take us out. I mean, we're in a fantastic position. I'm not going to go to our, uh, our curse room. HP is just a little too volatile for that. But yeah, we're in a fantastic position. The only thing I'm concerned about, really, is is our HP, but our damage is through the roof, and if we'd been able to take Mom's Knife in addition to the Pact, we would have been insanely overpowered. But if I can only choose one, I don't really want to ruin the synergy of uh, Death's Touch, or at least the potential synergies of Death's Touch. You know, things like Tammy's Head, Rubber Cement, etc., etc. Got another Joker card. I'm starting to really appreciate uh, the deck of cards in a way that I've never done before. We'll save this Joker card, at least temporarily. Conventional wisdom seems to be use the Joker card on the first floor that doesn't give you a deal with the devil. Or, uh, the Cathedral specifically. There's no reason you can't use it on the chest or something like that either, but... Yeah, I think it's, you know, the reason you don't save it for the Cathedral in all situations is because... You can assume... What a stupid play by my part there. Uh, you can assume that all deals with the devil are basically created equal until you see them. That's that's a mathematical assumption, I think. Um, you might as well get your deals with the devil early if you have the HP for it, because... You can use the advantages that you get on one deal with the devil for more floors, you know, the earlier you get it. That's why I talk about deals with the devil and, and permanent deal with the devil uh, interactions. You know, like getting Goathead and Book of Belial and stuff like that, as if it's compound interest. You know, the earlier you get it, uh, the, the more ahead of the curve you're going to be. Fool card is great for boss rush, but we already have a better teleportation card right now. We might end up taking this one with us when we leave this floor, but I I'm skeptical. I actually, I almost hope we don't get a deal with the devil on this floor, and instead we just find ourselves... I was going to say getting some extra HP out of it, but now we already have the Halo, so that's pretty much handled. Of course, if we don't get a deal with the Devil, we'll pop this Joker card right away, so it might all end up being for not, but in a good way. I will check this out. I, I would like to buy a Spirit Heart if we can afford it. It's probably the most valuable thing for us on the shop right now. And let's go, let's go fight our boss. Semi-realistic chance of a deal with the Devil. Very easy boss fight. 
considering the items we have at our disposal, and that'll do it right there. No deal with the devil. Matchbook is acceptable, though. The extra black heart, very nice. The bombs, meaningful. And the Joker card lets us get the Krampus precedent out of the way. And if this gives us Lump of Coal, we're in a great position. You might be thinking, well, even if it gives you Krampus' head, you should take it. I don't really relish the thought of taking Krampus' head in this situation. I gotta show credit where credit is due to our, uh... I guess we're done here. I gotta give credit where credit is due to our uh, deck of cards, which is consistently keeping us in a fantastic position right now. So we're on Caves 2. About a minute and a half ahead of boss, boss Rush schedule. And with the strength that we have, you would be kidding yourself if you thought I was not keeping Boss Rush at the at least the back of my mind. Poison Touch is an acceptable pickup here. And we'll hit all these rooms that we missed along the way. So what's most impressive about this run right now is that it's, it's going quickly in spite of the fact that we're doing, like, pretty much everything. Except going to the Curse Room because it scares the shit out of me. Now, the thing about Sharp Plug that you need to know... Before you criticize me, you do, before you criticize a man, you gotta walk a mile in his shoes. That way, when you criticize him, you're a mile away and you have his shoes. Is that Stephen Wright? I think that was Stephen Wright. Anyway. Um, but I'll just say it was me. Uh, Sharp Plug will take our spirit hearts. It won't just, thank you, it won't just take our uh, red hearts in the same way like IV Bag would or something like that. So we really, really have to want it. You know, if we're gonna need a card desperately, we can trade two spirit hearts for it. But if we get like the wafer, I think it only costs us half of a heart. And I know that seems like the math is fucked up, but I do think that that's the truth, actually. Two of diamonds, perfect timing. And yeah, we, we could have waited on this a little later, but mom's key right off the bat, allowing us to hold on to the sun card, is very good. Very, very good. If the shots travel through these guys, as far as I'm concerned, they should pop up. Must have hit him with Bob's brain there. And this is like a world of difference compared to how the last run went on this room. We were like dancing around giving like a full annotation like he needs this many more shots, he needs this many more shots on this one. You know, it's very very simple. We'll go for that. Not very smart play on my part, but hey, little extra money could spawn a blood bank on the next floor. Alright. If one, I was going to say, if we can take out one with our tears and one with Bob's brain, we should be totally fine. All we need to do is hit up all of these rooms. And we're still like three minutes ahead of schedule. Am I not? Yeah, we're, we're about three minutes ahead of schedule. You'd normally like to leave around like 1330 or something like that. So this is pretty good. Should be another spirit heart from Dark Bum there. And enough money to buy whatever we want. Not that I want to buy anything. Mom's Key is such a good item. After spending 18 cents or 15 cents that we barely even had, uh, managed to pick up like 16 cents off of one golden chest effectively. So I'm pretty excited about uh, the possible, you know, permutations that we got going on there. Tell you what, I'm going to pop our sun card. That way we can hold on to the stars card. Probably not worth a full spirit art just to pick up one penny, huh, Lou? We're gonna come all the way back here and uh, access our secret room. I used our sun card basically as a, a moon card, weirdly enough. And uh, that way we can take the stars card with us and have a good chance to teleport out of, you know, that which shall not be named. Our secret room ended up sucking, but we went to it nonetheless. Probably should have been hit there. Just a little light uh, dodging got me out of the way. Almost walked right into that again. It's the danger of me having speed upgrades, but I'd still rather have them than not have them. Gotta be very, very, very cautious here. There we go. Alright. This floor is where I would expect to have a good chance of getting a deal with the devil again. And honestly, we're in a very good position to take one. We've got the HP for it now. Why wouldn't we want to? We've already killed Krampus recently as well. Guppy items, maybe? That's like our, our best possible outcome here. Are you a wizard? Range up. Didn't let me open that red chest for a second. I thought something was terribly wrong. Lemon party range down. Wow. Uh, that's one of the shittiest deals with the devil. But we did get a range upgrade. So that's nothing to sneeze at. Now we're on Curse of the Unknown. With a little bit of time to spare... When I have high damage, it makes it so that um, 
Maybe you're not as perturbed about are you a wizard. Still a little perturbed though. Figure we'll we'll take care of all these like simplistic rooms before we worry about uh, the mob trap room if we ever end up indeed going to our mob trap room, which I want to because there's a chest inside of it, and I'm pretty sure stone chests are still affected by mom's keys, uh, you know, advantage, and they totally are. Like that, there's no way we would have gotten that outcome from a regular stone chest. There were like eight consumables inside of it. That's for you. We have like Curse of the Unknown, but I know that we have full HP. So I think we can play it three times. We picked up a decent amount of money there. We'll blow it up for the chance to get Spirit Hearts back in the form of this like Dark Bum laundering here. Totally worked out. Alright, just be cool. We kind of floated into the equilibrium there. That's totally fine. Sloth will die to like one Bob's brain hit, I'm sure, and he did. This run's really making me feel the, the value of Deck of Cards, man. I mean, we've gotten a pretty good series of draws from it, but also, just having it in the first place has helped out a lot. And of course, we've got the Dark Bum Little Chad combination here is pretty much unstoppable uh, when it comes to, like, passive HP regeneration. It's not completely passive, because we got to kind of walk Bob's brain over to the, the actual Red Hearts, or we got to wait for him to get there, which sometimes is annoyingly long, but it's a relatively minor problem considering all the alternatives and then the value that you get out of it. Flat Penny plus Piggy Bank seems awesome if we could just get like Guppy's Tail. Uh, we might as well hit up every room. Again, we're going far too quickly. Or far more quickly than we need to. So I'm not really gonna sweat going to rooms that are not necessary. Yet another Spirit Heart and another Stars card. I mean, we could use one Stars card to save a key, but I don't really want to backtrack. And our key game is pretty strong right now. Not a very good room. But the keys, thanks to Piggy Bank. Oh, okay, never mind. When I said the keys, what I meant to say is the zero keys, thanks to Piggy Bank. Quite lovely. This time of the year. Just terrible damage on my part. Bad trip. Bad trip, good pill, just not for us right now. Spider Bite is very, very good. Especially with piercing shots, penetrative shots, whatever you want to call them. We'll blow this up in the hopes of getting another Spirit Heart back. I've, I, I'm not going to say I earned it, but I would like to have earned it, if that makes sense. I'd like to get the Spirit Hearts back because I'm getting a little nervous about our HP. I'm pretty sure we're fine, but I'd rather know. Yeah, okay. That's all right, one way or the other. Blue candle's okay, but I think we'll just buy this. You know what? I'll buy this as well. And I'd say we've even got it like another minute or so before things become, you know, time tight here. So I'm just going to donate as much money as we can. This seems like we're in a pretty great financial position that we might not always have the opportunity to be in. So let's take this opportunity to keep our donation machine in equilibrium. You know, you might be saying, hey, this is why you shouldn't have blown it up in the first place, and you're completely right about that. But at the same time, it's not like we've ever gone down to zero. We've come fairly close, and I, I shouldn't have blown it up in the first place, but it made for good TV. You know, there's lots of, you always do what you shouldn't, shouldn't do. You ever see the, the video that speaks to me the most in my life is the video of the man who bets his big screen TV on whether the Redskins are going to beat the New Orleans Saints. And, uh, you know, when the Redskins don't, they all, his friends come over and literally shoot his TV. Do you think the USDA, FDA, FBI is going to tell you to shoot your TV? On, on a bet your TV on a football game and shoot it? I don't think so. But I tell you, that's a, that's a day that man won't soon forget. That's a memorable experience right there. Take your time, and it's not like a, you know, there's any time limit associated with this run or anything like that. Dark Bum needs to, Ed. I'm telling you, man, you're missing your window here. Add in a, people are gonna take this fucking seriously, and that's so depressing. But add in a microtransaction, Ed. When you get Dark Bum, say, hey, for only 99 gems, you can make Dark Bum travel faster. You'll get like a little turbo boots or something like that. And then when Dark Bum travels faster, he picks up the Red Hearts faster. Boom, you just made yourself a cool 
$35,000 right there. Without putting in any extra work, except, you know, I guess drawing up some icons or something. I'm, I'm making a joke, by the way, in case anyone thinks that I, I enjoy that kind of game design. I hope that nobody operates under that assumption. I would have paid for the turbo boots right there. That's all I'm saying. I'm like, you know, here's how you should know I'm joking. I'm not like vehemently opposed to DLC or anything like that. I'm actually like one of the most tolerant people of DLC that, that I know of, at least online. And uh, I don't, I can't recall any DLC that I've bought outside of like... Wrath of the Lamb. I'm trying to think, but to be... Oh, you know what? That's not true. I bought this Slingshot DLC for XCOM. I don't know whether you'd classify um, Enemy Within itself as a uh, as DLC. It's more of like an expansion, but, you know, th I, I recognize that those lines are weirdly blurred and, and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I did buy the Slingshot pack for XCOM, which I was relatively disappointed in. But as part of the greater overall package in Enemy Within, it's much better. Um... Well, we can't really do too much here, so let's not. Got our keys back out of that one, no problem. And we're going to be able to snag something from Boss Rush for sure. And, you know, I'm even day one DLC, I'm like... I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm a hypocrite or if I'm a neophyte, let's put it that way. Because I'm like, well, you know, the artist needs something to do, yada, yada, yada. But I, at the same time, I don't think I've ever purchased day one DLC. Even like, you know, if you want the truest form of this, like my favorite games of uh, the past few years, two of them are definitely Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2. But I I barely played the DLC for Dark Souls. I had to get people to like prod me to play it. And then for uh, Dark Souls 2, everyone's like, the DLC is so good. I still haven't touched it. And I just kind of have no intention to. Not out of like a distaste for We didn't get any guppy items in this run. I'll take headless baby. Fuck it, we might as well take nine lives then, right? Um, not out of any kind of distaste for DLC, but rather just like, I don't really, you know, I, once I once I finish with the game, I'm done with the game. These boss rush items were god awful. Like I'm, I'm once I play a game and I finish it, I'm kind of just like, all right, I don't need to go back. I guess the binding of Isaac is kind of a uh, different story though. And that's not to say that once I beat a game, I never come back. Wow, that was amazing. Um, because that's not true either. I've beaten Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 like seven or eight times each probably. Eh, maybe five or six times each. But uh, it's just at some moment, like something clicks in my brain and I'm like, all right, I'm done with this. And we have reached, we reached that moment for Dark Souls and I'm like, all right, I don't need to play anything else here. Even if it's good, people will be like, what if it's amazing? Oh, yeah, maybe, I don't know. But I can always play. There's, there's so many games I'd rather... I'd rather experience something completely different. Like, instead of playing the DLC for Dark Souls, I could be playing Madden NFL 2015. Getting a totally fresh gameplay experience from the minds at EA Tiburon. I think they actually make the NHL franchise. Anyway, it's neither here, here nor there. You want me to talk about the run? My, my producer's saying talk about the run. I got nothing to say about the run, I'm going to be honest with you. And that's not to say it's bad. It, that sounds like it's coming from a place of, like, I'm, I feel distaste for it. It's definitely not true. This is a great run. It's a great run that I really wouldn't expect to lose. The only way I would expect to lose this, especially now with nine lives, is just a complete mental collapse. Feeling like boss is, like, down and to the right, but it's a bit of a weird layout for a floor. I'll give you that one. All right, sweet. Um... Tower card not very useful. Like with dark, with um, little chub dark bomb combo, like there's just no chance that it goes tits up for us. Can someone explain the idiom of tits up to me? Tits up, you're on your back. Oh, okay. I was I thought I had something to do with drowning. <laughs> I was like, you know, when you drown, fat has a lower density than than the rest of the body. Maybe not the entire rest of the body, but the, like many parts of the body at least. So I was like, well, you know, if you're drowning, your, your breasts or your fatty tissue on your chest would be up in your face, tits up. 
But now it's just like, okay, that makes a lot more sense. You, you know, they lay you down on your back when you're dead. Fair, I understand. I'm really, really hoping for a deal with the devil here, but the odds of it are super low. I would love to become Guppy. It's just such a long shot. With curse rooms, maybe, but hanged man's not gonna do it. I was hoping for maybe a Joker card. We did pick the right direction. Which is kind of surprising to me. There's a lot of possibilities here. Yeah, friendly spiders. Nothing wrong with that. Without becoming Guppy, we're still going to win. I will, I'll peel back the curtain there. But it would be nicer if we had Guppy so we could win a little faster, I suppose. It'd win a little bit more bombastically. And that's pretty much how I expected that to go down, unfortunately. But, alright, down to the next floor. Now it all becomes about maximizing the value that we can get on the chest. Thank God you are not a one or a six. Tammy's head. I'll tell you what, it's been a while. There was a large period of time where I was rolling with Tammy's head no matter what. Um, it, it just seemed to show up on every single run. It's been a little while though. I'm happy to, I'm happy to see Tammy's head again. What did we get, like eight keys for that? And we don't have nuns have it, so I'm like, yeah, I don't want to use Tammy's head immediately on this room. I'll save it for like, uh, I'll save it for Chubb. Not that Chubb's the hardest, but he's the only one that's still got full HP, if you know what I mean. And that did a pretty good job. But now we're really hoping for rubber cement. We're hoping like Polyphemus rubber cement sad bombs. Like the the nine the no, the nine the uh Boleg de The uh the Tammy said combo is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sometimes the words don't come out right. So we must be at uh, full HP. Well, I was really hoping the Guppy Dream might be real there. Joker? Two of Diamonds? Not really that useful at 93 cents. How did you, in the epicenter of it, avoid all of that damage? It makes no sense to me. It's looking pretty good right now. A second double key room. Why? The plot thickens. Reroll that shiz all over the ground. Pheromones. Eh, money that we can't possibly use, but hey, thanks for the spirit heart. Keep our Empress card. Some of those pills might be good, but at this point, you gotta be a little bit better than that to motivate me to care. It's two Awaz runes, huh? Alright. I don't know what would have happened if we just popped one on the cathedral immediately. Probably should not have done that. We're taking a lot of damage here. Didn't even break even on that, but picked up some extra keys, I guess, so, you know. That's better than breaking even if you look at it strictly on a literal mathematical sense. I'm starting to think maybe we should let Dark Bomb pick those up. I know that we did get uh, contract from below, but when did it happen? Like it's, it's seeming like only recently we've started to get these double uh, payouts here. I don't really want like uh, Card Against Humanity. I like the game just fine. Little bit, little bit over it. Played it kind of like all a lot, but uh, I think from time to time, I think it's weird that people think Cards Against Humanity uh, was ripped off for apples to apples. Because back in like back in my college days, we played apples to apples like all the time, and we we're like, this game's amazing. I wish somebody would make an R-rated version of it. And then Cards Against Humanity came out, and we were like, oh, I get it. It's weird. It's, it's so pot. It's not Cards Against Humanity's fault, but uh, the the narrative has been like rewritten based on the based on the fact that it's so popular. All right, I really would have loved a Spirit Heart there, but I'll tell you what. With our combination of items here, I'm pretty confident that we're set for life, even if our HP is terrible. This is the most Curse of Unknowns like I've ever seen on a run. So our boss is straight up like as far left as you can go. There's just no way around that one. The biggest threat to ourselves right now is ourselves. It's Bob's brain. If I can go back in time, would I pick up Bob's brain? Yes, I would. Because it's dumb and ridiculous, and that's everything that I want to be in this world. I can't believe that we missed so many of you there. I actually think... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to temper my expectations here, and your expectations as well. I think we're going to lose lives on this floor. That's not to say we're going to die. I think we're going to lose lives on this floor. Uh, I think we, we're going to win the run without a doubt. That was actually pretty pretty nice right there. 
Um, but I think we will start to to notice some what might seem a little bit like backsliding right here. But with with one HP and nine lives, we should be able to win pretty handily regardless. Might as well check over here. Didn't think we were going to end up uh, finding our boss, but it's okay. At this point, do I really need 63 keys? Chorus of people out there probably screaming, yes, but I disagree. The only thing I ask is that we're not like 80% of the way through the Isaac fight if slash when we lose this life. That, oh, you paid out with a fucking spider, you dirty dog. I was like, we're about to get to spirit arts, so all of my, you know, foreshadowing about death here is completely baseless, but no. He took away the one spirit heart I got. It's alright, it happens. I found pills, not particularly thrilled about it. I should stop picking up money and let bum friend take it, but... Like, I, I just can't be bothered to min-max, man, when it's already a one run. I'd rather not min-max and have it become, like, a little bit more exciting in the process. And that's not me saying fuck min-maxing. Rather, it's me just being like, this is, this is how I play the game. It's different than some people, at least. This is my particular style. Credit card, I don't think, does shit for us. Um, we'll take this Emperor card down to the next floor, though. And we'll pop it pretty much immediately, and this, this run will be straight up over in just a moment here. Gotta finish this soon. The pizza delivery guy's here. I don't want him to see me with the door open. Not that that would be particularly shameful, I guess. But okay, let's focus. Focus intently here. We're going to get this done. Thank you. Much appreciate. Oh my god, I got hit at the last possible second. Okay. Let's make this happen. We're going to beat Isaac without getting hit. How are we going to do it? Basically, just by dodging. I apologize. I got a little distracted there. Eve's. I guess we're going to fight on the right side of the map. Because I have no interest in Eve's bird foot. Eve's a bird foot. I apologize to all of my viewers who think that that accent is meant to be where you're from. You don't deserve that. That was meant to be a, a classic Sudburyan accent. The only person I was making fun of there was Quill. That was very poor dodgy on my part. Look, I'm not... You notice the tone of my voice? Pay attention to the tone of my voice. We're going to be fine on this run. If you're wondering why I wait a second, it's just so I can make sure Bob's brain... Uh, fires right at the start. Um, we're going to be fine. We just need like a minute to get our shit together, to actually play well. And um, as long as we put together like one half deso run here against these this boss, we should be totally fine. All we really need to do is get to this exact phase right here. Now that we're in this phase. The only thing that kills us, in all likelihood, is being an idiot and letting Bob's brain hit us. Like, he gets too close to us, and as a result, Bob's brain goes off in our face, causes some mental anguish. Here we go. Bob's brain's going to hit about 80, 85% of the way through the fight. Almost dodged right into that. This one's not going to quite finish it, but it's going to take it close. And those shots being slow actually created, like, mines on the screen that were tough to get away from. Finish the job. All right. See, I told you. There's no reason to be nervous here. You know what? With 71 keys, Eve's bird foot is probably better. Let's see what we got in here. Are we going to make a run for the boss right away? Probably. Big fan, $3 bill. Gimpy and Brother Bobby. All useful to varying degrees. What's great about this situation is, um is actually the Gimpy pickup, weirdly enough. Because with Gimpy, if we get hit, there's a chance we drop a Spirit Heart. If we get hit, there's a chance we die, but we can stack up like five deaths and maybe have two Spirit Hearts if we get lucky that would be on the room just waiting uh, to be picked up. We're getting a lot of pennies in the process as well. I'll tell you what, oh! <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to kill these rooms. So we should probably stop pussyfooting around here. We should probably start going for the goal. If we lose this run, it would be a huge tragedy. Because we're in such a good position. We gotta, like, unload Bob's brain. There we go. We got it out. Just keep it moving here. Trying to get... Exactly. Trying to get some consumables or some items here. Everything that we get makes our life just a little bit easier. 
Watch out for don't even shoot here. Bob's brain will just butt fuck you. Wait for him to jump or something. What was I supposed to do about that one though? I still think it's worth going for the fight here. Get Bob's brain out of the situation. There we go. Now we can actually sneak in behind. We cannot fly, so beware of creep. Oh, they hem me in. That's all right. We're gonna make it out. Should be using Tammy's head more often, but I uh, just wanted to make sure we were gonna get the KO on it. If you give me a spirit heart, that's a, that's the cue that we're going into our boss fight. Oh, come the f February on there. That's all right. Maybe it's actually a good thing. It gives me a chance to rewrite history. And instead of killing Gluttony first, we'll kill Gluttony last. Which will give us some red hearts or HP ups. Which will allow... Uh, yeah, that'll allow Dark Bomb to get some good stuff going here. There we go. Black Heart, Rubber Cement, exactly what I wanted. Maggie's bow don't hurt either. I don't know what that was, but you, you get the idea. Alright, let's try this again, Blue Baby, if that is even your real name. That seemed really good. That seemed very helpful. Turns out, probably should have been using Tammy's head a little earlier on in the exchange here. But hey, thanks for watching. That'll do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.